Hi, I'm Lou, and today we're going to look at a Predator engine from the inside out. We'll start inside the crankcase with the one part I don't have, which is the governor. It's a small plastic gear with metal wings. When the governor gets going too fast, it presses on this arm, which pulls back on the throttle to slow it down. If it gets going too fast, your flywheel can explode or your connecting rod can explode like this. If you want to delete or zip tie your governor, you really should get a high speed rod, a high speed flywheel, and stiffer valve springs. This is a low oil sensor float switch and it bolts on right there and comes out over here. This is our crankshaft. This turns the governor if we had one and this turns the timing cam. And it goes right in like this. Next, the bottom comes off the connecting rod and the rod and the piston go into the cylinder right here. This arrow should be facing downward. There are three rings with slots that should be lined up evenly around the piston. So one there, one down there, and one over here. You need a ring compressor to squeeze these before you can put them into the cylinder. I made my own with a hose clamp and a piece of plastic tubing. Pound in the piston with a rubber mallet or block of wood. Next goes the rod cap, which connects the rod to the crankshaft and also has this little arm that splashes oil up to lubricate things. It's held on by these two bolts, torqued to nine foot-pounds. This is a compression release mechanism. When the engine is first starting, this thing turns slowly and that little bump right there holds this out and reduces the compression slightly. But when it speeds up, this goes out and then the cam will ride directly. The lifters go in there and there. Turn the crank so your piston's at top dead center, and then drop in your camshaft so that this dot on the camshaft lines up with that dot on the crankshaft. We're all done in here, so make sure this edge and this edge are super clean. Oil your gasket, put it on, and put it together. Next, all these side cover bolts torque down to 17 foot-pounds. Now we'll move to the cylinder. Push rods go down on the lifters. They push up on these rockers, which push against the valve springs and open the valves. On goes the head, held down with four head bolts there and there at 17 foot-pounds. Make sure the rods are sitting inside these dimples. These adjust your valve lash, and you should be able to just barely slide in a 3 thousandths feeler gauge. Head cover with four bolts, spark plug, and the spark plug wire, which leads down to the ignition coil. This little wire leads to the kill switch. Charging coils that look like this will charge batteries and run headlights, and they would be mounted right here if we had them. Next goes our flywheel. This magnet passing by the ignition coil is what causes the spark. Plastic cooling fins, pull starter cup, and nut. We want to set the charging coil to the right distance from the flywheel, so we loosen these, slide in a business card, and tighten them back up. So the gap looks about like that. Here's the intake manifold. We put on this plastic spacer piece, gasket. Here's the carburetor, emulsion tube, jet, and screw it in. The needle valve hooks right here on the float. That drops in right there. And this little shaft holds it all together. Bowl and bolt. The gas comes in right here. This turns the gas on and off. Here's the choke that's normally open and you close it like this to start it, which gives you a richer mixture. This is the throttle valve that opens to make the engine run faster. This is the idle screw that blocks the throttle from going too low. This is the air fuel mixture, tighten for rich, loosen for lean. On it goes. This is called the throttle control assembly and it goes right there, held on by those two bolts. The governor's not in there and this is not exactly the right spring, but this is basically how it works. When the engine is first starting, we're at wide open throttle. When it gets up to speed, the governor pulls back so we're all the way down to idle. When you ask for more speed, you push on this, which pulls on this, this, and gives you more throttle. These are throttle cable mount points, so you can have a cable here or here. This is the throttle stop screw, where you can limit your throttle or take it completely out for full power. Flywheel cover and pull start. When these go bad, you can get new ones. When you pull the cord, these tabs come out and grab holes in the cup. That goes on right here. And there's another cover that goes on right here. Here's the kill wire from the ignition coil. It connects to the kill switch, which goes to ground when you turn it off. It also goes to the sensor module that goes to ground when it's low on oil. Exhaust port and stock muffler. We held on by these nuts. This is the underside of the gas tank. These two bolts go here and here. 
This one goes right here. And this hose gets snaked under here all the way to here, like this. Gas line and hose clamp. Another gasket. Air box with filter. This goes to the valve cover vent. This goes to the gas tank vent. Slides on here. Nuts. Cover has a hole here for that hose, but I cut one down here so it's easier to just drop on. Oil, gas, and start. And installed.